Okay. Hello everyone. This is different from my um, normal video uh, videos that I do, but uh, this is my first one of this kind. I'm doing a tutorial on how to make your own custom PSP backgrounds using Microsoft Paint uh, to make it so that you have the exact same size picture as um, the screen size of your PSP so you won't get any um, picture uh, cut off by uh, making it as your background so you're gonna get the full experience with this picture now first uh, I already made one but I'll just go through it real quick again go to accessories you know go to paint alright I have I already have it set up here uh, you have paint and see this box right here it's, it's smaller because excuse me because it knows in the corner here that when you click these things right in the corner it shows the the size of the what the picture is the width times the height and um, I found a picture online that did this and I figured it out on my own how to, to make it so I'm going to use this picture information crap alright uh, the width and height you're looking for is 480 by 272 and that's what I have right here I'm going to have to modify just a little bit alright 480 272 perfect alright then what you can do, uh, I already found a picture, you know, you could go, you could either draw stuff, you know, draw scribbles, da, 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 do whatever you want. Um, but uh, the cool thing you can do is you could go to like google.com, go to images, you know, search like PSP or, or, or something like that. I don't know. That's, that's what we're going to be using right now. I'm just going to use PSP. Uh, and I'm, I already have it copied. I'm paste it. It's a big picture of the PSP. I'm just gonna stretch out your uh, the size of the uh, thing slightly, unfortunately. Um, so when it does that, you just create the size of how exactly you want it, and then you adjust the size again to the size, which is 480 by 272. So we got 480 by 272. All right, all right. So then that's our background right there. Um, then you can do things like uh, you can make you can make the background let's say red if you want. There you go. Make it make the background red. Um, or how about how about we make it uh, blue? Yeah, that's better. A blue background. Then you go to file and you save as and whatever you want you could I'm gonna do PPSP uh, PSP background dot bitmap save and then you have it in your pictures or desktop or whatever you, wherever you want get out of paint and then all you do is connect your PSP to your computer with the USB mode then it opens up here then you go into picture and then for um, your documents you open up my pictures or or your uh, or on your desktop or wherever you put the picture and you click and you look find it mine's right there you just click and drag it onto the PSP folder picture click and drag it in there and it should download and there you go then you have the picture get out of that and then you go in your pictures right here okay and notice that it's in my PSP now open it up and there you go see it's full screen got the picture all right there you just moving along the analog stick doesn't move at all pictures completely centered then you do view mode zoom normal zoom normal zoom normal nothing happens 
because it's the exact same size of the PSP screen. Then of course you go to set as wallpaper, click yes, and go back, and bada bing, you got it as your background without any of the image cut off. So you can make whatever you want. You could pretty much, um, it's pretty good. Uh, don't worry about scaling down pictures like big, uh, uh, let's say uh, eight, eight by 800 by 900 or, or whatever it is. Um, Pic uh, wallpapers you might find on the internet like big big pictures doesn't matter just uh, copy and paste it into Microsoft Paint uh, and you can uh, just adjust it to the right size which again uh, just so you know is uh, I'll have it I'll have it in the information but uh, the exact size you want is 480 by 272 it's right here you probably can't see it though but it's right there, 480 by 272. I'll have it in the description of the video. But um, yeah, so that's so that's what you do if you want your own custom background for your PSP without any image cutoff, um, and just however however the way you want it. So that's it. Check out my other videos, and I will do some more tutorials maybe in the future.